Ever wonder what these things actually are? First, we must learn how sound actually works. You can see the audio from the presumed speaker is making the slinky move. As you can see, the pump of air. Being able to hear a sound is essentially the pressure at a location of the listener and the amount of time it takes for the sound to get to you. This can be represented by a sine or cosine wave function. Sine functions are able to represent sound by using the formula a sine 2 pi f t phi. where A is volume, F is frequency, T is time, where the time starts, and phi is where it is in the frequency. Can you tell the difference between these two functions? Don't worry, I couldn't either. The difference between the sine function and the cosine function just depends on where they start on the graph. Sine functions start at the highest part of the graph, and cosine functions start in the middle. We can also see on the graph presented, there are degrees, meaning there's a circle involved, where zero to pi is a full revolution. Different curves and edges can be used to make rougher or smoother sounds. By combining different frequencies, synthesizers are able to make different sounds you may have never heard. In real life, I would never have guessed that I could use math in music and sound. I hope you learned something new about music and sound.